This is Feature Shelf, a series that provides book recommendations based on theme or title suggestions. This shelf is one on a list of possible shelves that I received from Miss Williams' seventh grade English class. So this is Feature Shelf number 39, the baseball edition. My name is Eli, I'm also called the supplier. Thanks for watching. is Heat by Mike Lupica. Michael Arroyo is from Cuba, is 12 years old, and wants nothing more than to play in the Little League World Series. Other people with interest in baseball say that he can't throw that hard as a 12 year old because, you know, he's a pitcher. But it, his father died and his brother can't find his birth certificate. And if social services finds out that his father died, then they'll both be separated or sent back to Cuba. It's a great story about passion and overcoming adversity. The second book on our baseball shelf is Mexican White Boy by Matt De La Peña. Danny is an amazing pitcher, except that he can't manage to play on a team. He freezes up every time he gets to the mound. Danny's also a, as the title says, Mexican white boy. He's half white, half Mexican, and he's really not sure where he fits because he's too Mexican for the white kids and he's not Mexican enough for the Mexican kids. He's spending the summer with his cousins and hustling baseball to save money to find his father in Mexico. If you're a fan of coming of age stories about baseball, but also about identity, figuring out who you are, Mexican White Boy is a good pick for you. I've had a few students read and enjoy The Big Field by Mike Lupica. Hutch is a shortstop. His father was a shortstop until he got hurt and couldn't play anymore. When Hutch gets moved from shortstop to second base to make room for a new player, a player who his father pays more attention to, now, when he couldn't bother to come to Hutch's games, Hutch feels betrayed. The questions are, can Hutch and his father repair their relationship? Can Hutch be a good teammate and help his team win the championship from second base? Or will everything fall apart? The fourth book on our shelf is High Heat by Carl Duker. Pitcher Shane Hunter lived a privileged life. His family had money, he went to private school, things were looking really, really good for Shane. That is until, and there's always an until, his father gets into some trouble and they lose all of their money. Now Shane's going to public school and he's dealing with a colossal challenge. Well, challenges. His father's actions, moving to a public school, losing his love for baseball. And it's not only a story about baseball, but a story about loss and redemption. The last book on the shelf this week is We Are the Ship, the story of Negro League Baseball by Kadir Nelson. Miss Smith, one of the librarians at my school, recommended this one to me a couple of years ago and I thought it was fantastic. It is nonfiction, the narrator is an everyman, and it tells the story of the Negro Leagues um, from when African American black people were not allowed to play in Major League Baseball. There's a lot of things about about the New York Leagues that I didn't know even growing up as a baseball fan. Um, so I thought this was a great read so I could learn about history of baseball from a different perspective. So that's five books you may enjoy if you're a baseball fan. Heat, Mexican White Boy, The Big Field, High Heat, and We Are the Ship. For the feature shelf archives and show notes, both video and podcast, or to request your own feature shelf, visit thebooksupplier.com slash feature shelf. You can also send me requests on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can find me at the book supplier, both places. So I'm going to leave you there now, dear readers. Thanks for watching feature shelf number 39, the baseball edition. As always, I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.